So could this finally be the end of the SEC and Ripple case? I have a video of Stuart who is a chief legal officer for Ripple and he shared a message about what he thinks will basically make the final outcome for the SEC settlement and so we will be having a look at the Ripple and SEC case and then after that we are going to be looking at the fake news about the BlackRock spot ETF for XRP and what actually went on with the price action. And so let's first have a look at the video of Stuart to see what he says about the case. So, yes or no, any settlement on the table? We've said uh, publicly since day one that this case settles if the SEC makes clear that Ripple sales and distributions of XRP and XRP's trading in the secondary market does not constitute a security. If they're willing to acknowledge that, the case settles and settles very, very quickly. So, and now from what Stuart said, all what Ripple are asking is that XRP does not constitute a security and that means that the settlement will end. But in terms of the settlement news and what is currently going on, you'll see over here that we are now in the remedies stage, which is basically looking at the sale of XRP to institutional clients and whether or not they were financially harmed. Both of the parties, Ripple and the SEC, have agreed to a 90-day timeline. And I believe that the SEC asked for a 90 day period to conduct the discoveries relating to Ripple and Ripple then agreed to this. We now just have to wait a bit longer for this case, unfortunately, but I do believe that we will be seeing an outcome soon. And with regards to Stuart's answer, I do believe that he gave a very clear answer. Again, in my personal opinion, I believe that Ripple should not have to pay anything to the SEC when they are not the ones who are in the wrong. And in fact, Ripple should be suing the SEC for the damages that they have actually caused to XRP holders and for how much money Ripple have spent on this ongoing lawsuit which is roughly over 200 million dollars. So now that we have covered the SEC and Ripple settlement let's have a look at what happened yesterday guys. This was later on in the UK I think it happened at around about 9 p.m but there was basically news about BlackRock filing for an XRP bot ETF and of course this got a lot of people very much excited. Now before I go on to say anything else this is obviously fake news. What actually happened is there was a screenshot of a Delaware filing that basically showed BlackRock filed to register the iShares XRP trust. Now if we go on the website over here of the state of Delaware, this is the official website and if you type in the word iShares and then search, you'll see over here on their website, this is where the iShares XRP trust is. So if I just click on it, so you guys know it's not a screenshot, it does still remain on the website but this piece of information was basically spreading all across Twitter and obviously it got a lot of people excited because usually when BlackRock files for iShares and then for example Bitcoin Trust or XRP Trust that means that they are in the preparatory stages for basically launching a spot ETF right. Now I am personally quite surprised at how fast this news actually got out to a lot of people as it managed to reach so many people on X and the news was also confirmed by Eric and apparently Eric is a Bloomberg ETF analysis and I believe that he spoke with BlackRock it says over here this is false confirmed by BlackRock by me and so basically if we see what happened on the day you'll see over here at 8.40 p.m it was currently at 65 cents and then we basically saw that price jump to 73 cents that is where that big line comes over here and we had that massive rally of 8 cents just from that piece of news guys and of course this was short-lived as you can see the move barely lasted an hour before it came back down to its original price levels in my opinion this just goes to show the power of the news for xrp and how it can rapidly affect the price as well and despite the news being fake it caused a reaction in xrp however if the news came Came out but XRP's price didn't move then that would be probably more concerning because there wouldn't have been a demand for the coin and again I think that a lot of people did not really think about this BlackRock spot BTF news and what was behind it because why would BlackRock file for an ETF when XRP is obviously going through a litigation process right now that is one of the biggest red flags that I think people should have thought about but again, it just goes to show that if we have good news for XRP, it is able to make jumps like this. So let's have a look at the price action for today. So after we had that rally, we are now back down to 65 cents, which is a healthy level. We are back down to previous levels. It's not like as if we are going below 60 cents. You'll see over here on the 24 hour volume, we are up by 227%. So we are currently trading at 3.33 billion. We usually are trading at around about 2 billion guys. And so the trading volume has increased by around about a billion. And we're 
definitely seeing significantly more volume than usual. If we have a look at the seven day chart and if we ignore that rally, we are basically going down by roughly one cent every single day. XRP does continue to battle with that 66 cent level. I do believe that XRP needs to stabilize somewhat at 67 to 69 cents in order to break out to 70 cents. There is a lot of hope for XRP and if anything this just shows that once the settlement is over and done with and we are able to have more adoption, more utility and more news for XRP we will be able to go to the upside and that $1 price target is closer than you think. Guys if you want daily XRP coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.